Hey everyone, welcome back. We're tracking the tropics right now and you're probably wondering, well, why Jordan? There's not a whole lot going on regarding Texas weather. There's actually more than you think. Right now, as of the 10 o'clock update, Tropical Storm Ian is now getting closer to hurricane strength, currently 65 miles per hour. Expect it to hit Cuba right around Tuesday morning, pretty early in the morning as a major hurricane. Once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, very warm waters. It's been hot all over the southern United States especially for this summer. It's expected to strengthen up to a category four and then start to weaken out a little bit. You're probably wondering, well, why is that? You said the waters are warm. That's because we have that cold front. The one that's hitting us tonight is possibly going to collide with the hurricane, cause lots of extra wind in the atmosphere and cause it to weaken possibly down to a category one before it actually makes landfall. Current models are showing it hitting just to the north of Tampa, right around the Ocala region. But again, this is the cone of uncertainty and notice just how big it is around the state of Florida. There's a lot of unknowns. We're going to continue tracking it throughout the week. And of course, we always have your eye on the tropics. Here's the spaghetti models showing exactly what kind of directions. And again, once you get past that central Florida point, models go all over the place. So still a lot of unknowns with the storm. What we do know is it's starting to cool down a little bit. Maybe not so much tonight. 83 in Waco right now, 80 in Temple, 75 in Brown. Ryan, and that's because well, look, there's that cold front kind of stalling out, brought a lot of more thunderstorm activity and even some hail to the Dallas Fort Worth region. We're keeping an eye on that. Maybe a couple of those isolated showers sticking to the far west. We're looking right around Hamilton, Comanche and then Brownwood. But other than that, not seeing a ton of activity. This all is not rain. This is just radar clutter. Do expect some mostly cloudy skies tonight, but it's going to clear out pretty early by the morning and I'm not seeing really any significant cloud cover or rain chances going into next week. We are going to have a lot of dry air coming from that frontal system. It's also that hurricane. Well, it's going to keep away a lot of the moisture from our region entirely throughout much of the week, which does mean some cooler temperatures. 67 degrees for tonight under mostly cloudy skies. 20% chance of showers kind of fizzling out as we go into the later parts of the evening. But here we go back to the much more seasonable range. We're looking at those upper 80s in the forecast for tomorrow, 89, 67 for tonight. Check this out. Tuesday night, 59 degrees, maybe those lower 90s coming back. But you know what? This is exactly what we should be seeing for this time of year, Bailey. Yeah, absolutely. I'm ready for the cooler temperatures. Thank you, Jordan.